epitome of love on this earth. Um, the first time I met Ben, he was Candy, and Candy was at an event called Queens for Recovery and really just opened up her heart to uh, to us all, but I felt so connected that I had to talk, to talk to them after and say, hey, look, like, keep doing what you're doing because you inspired me and, and truly, truly inspired me on my journey to recovery and my journey in mental health and really just did this amazing performance, but beyond the performance was the heart they brought to it. It was it was different than just a, a typical drag show. It was, I felt so much love in that room. And um, after, you know, over the years, really built a relationship and friendship with Ben and Candy. And I will say that their smile lit up a room, no matter where you went in the room, you could see it from, from across the room because it really just, it wasn't just a smile. It was something that really, I think, changed the energy of a space. And I do believe that about small smiles, that they literally have the ability to... Sorry, just now, as I'm recording this, two dragonflies are dancing. You can't, beyond the camera, you can't see them, but they're just dancing around each other. And I feel like that's Ben just dropping in, saying, hey, it's me. I'm beautiful. I'm still here. I'm still watching over you. Maybe they, oh, they almost just, they flew over top of it right now, but I was hoping they would fly like in front of my face, but I think I'm too close to the camera. But um, anyway, I just find 
Ben to be such a beautiful soul. And I know that he's still watching over us and protecting all of us. And I just wanted to say that I love you so, so, so much. Hello, everyone. My name is Daryl Bohannon, AKA Ms. Demure. And I would like to take this moment to send my deepest condolences to Ben Hippostill, AKA Candy One Sum, and her family. Uh, back in the late 90s, early 2000s, there was a group of girls that bursted onto the scene, and we both were part of that group. In this time of reflection, we want to remember all the good times that Candy Wonsome brought to her followers. I remember going out to Celebrity and um, back in the early 2000s and just hearing her followers chant her name, Wonsome, Wonsome. It was such a treat for them, and she definitely made such a huge burst onto the scene, and later on in charity. Right after her time as celebrity, she ended up joining the uh, Ruby Girls and helped raise money for HIV in the Miami Valley. And not, that wasn't the end of it. She eventually started raising money for charity in her own backyard of Finley, Ohio, her hometown. And that's something great to be remembered for and be honored for. So I would like to take this time of remembrance to show my deepest condolences to her, her family, and especially Matthew Swisher, AKA Majestic, who was probably one of her dearest or closest or best friends, um, drag daughter, sister, all the above. My deepest condolences to you all. Candy, we miss you very much. And though your chair is empty, our hearts are full. Ben was a lot of things to a lot of people. To me, Ben was someone who helped teach me to love myself despite all of my flaws and to live loudly and proudly in spite of them. Um, I've learned a lot of lessons from Ben and I have a lot of memories that I will take into the future, but most of all, I'm happy to have known him.
Hello, my name is Frida Miller, and I had the opportunity at one point to work with Candy Wansom back in the days at uh, Celebrity. I was a member of the Brits Girls with her, and I just always remember her as being so much fun, having a good time, and the talent that was displayed on the stage from Candy was just absolutely amazing. Um, the outfits, the one thing that sticks in my mind is how, is how she did Celine Dion. She looked so much like Celine Dion at the time. It was absolutely, it was absolutely amazing to see that. And we did quite a few shows together. We spent some time together um, as friends. She was a very dear friend to me. And I just learned a lot about from her about life and things and how to, how to be on the stage, how to look, how to do things. And she taught me all that. And I'm, I'm glad that she did. We had a few private conversations together, which, you know, we talked about a lot of different things. And I, I, we both enjoyed each other's company. And like I say, it's just she had such talent on that stage. She would just take over the stage. And I think that's what really sticks out the most to me um, is that. And I will always have those memories of Candy being on the stage and her personality and talent and looks just amazing everyone around me. And I am going to miss Candy very much as I, I'm sure we all will. And I just, you know, wish more than anything she could be here today, but I wish her well. And I know someday we will all meet again at the big theater in the sky.
It really sucks that I didn't get that much time with you, but I'm really glad for the time that I did. And I know I already miss you now, and I know it's going to suck later, but you're a really, really good person in and out, and you were the light of everyone's day, and I'm really glad that I'm here because of you. <laughs> Ben, you are an amazing, beautiful, funny, smart, generous, giving, helpful, kind, beautiful human being. And I'm so blessed to have you in my life and to become family. You know how much you mean to us. We love you and miss you. And you'll always be in our hearts. Please keep close. Always send signs. We love you. Ben and Candy were truly one person. She did not have two different personalities. She was amazing. She was thoughtful. She was creative. She was stubborn. She wouldn't take no for an answer. I miss her. And I love her. So, some people don't really know what a drag mom is. Some people aren't lucky enough to have one. Fortunately, I did. And that was Candy once some. Candy taught me everything I knew about drag. And our friendship became so bonded and was filled with so much love. Ben wasn't just my mentor. He was my drag mom. He was my mom. He was my family. He was my best friend. I love you very much. I'm very thankful for you. You've helped make me who I am today. And you've taught me how to love myself for who I am. And for that, I will never forget you. You will always be with me. And I will love you forever.
Andy, I release you. 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 We release you. I release you. I release you. Aren't you supposed to be doing that to the people out there? <laughs>